Hi, this is Petey at Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and this is tutorial 241. Now we have been actually going along in the last few tutorials and integrating the UI toolkit into our application so we could uh, lower our draw calls by creating things like texture atlases and whatnot. Uh, I'm actually going to start steering away from this simply because Unity has announced in the new roadmap for this year that they're going to be incorporating um, basically this ability into uh, Unity itself. And to be honest, I'd rather just stick with the one that's built into Unity instead of um, importing a, a third party library. And it sounds like it's going to be able to do everything that we actually want it to do. Uh, so with that said, if you just want to stop this video and not watch the rest of it, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but I am still going to go through with our inventory system, or at least with this loot window, and set up the events so that when we click a button, you actually see well, we actually have the, an event set up so that we can actually get the index of the button that's being clicked and be able to tie that into basically the, the list of items that's actually going to be in that chest. So it should be pretty easy to port over what we already have into this new GUI element that we have for the chest if you still wish to continue with the UI uh, toolkit. Uh, it is still a great package. I really like it. But since Unity has announced that there are you know, coming up with the upgraded, upgraded um, on GUI thing. Oh, I'm not even sure if it's going to be called on GUI, but they're upgrading their GUI, and I, I really want to kind of see what the, they're going to be offering before I go ahead and, you know, redesign the whole system in this using UI toolkit, and then turn around and, you know, Unity comes out with one, and I like it better and have to go and switch everything back over to that, or at least that new system. So I'll wait to see what's better of the two is basically what I'm saying. So with that said, let's go ahead and open up Unity. And where we left off, we had our little grid of uh, nine buttons. And you know, you can click them. They don't do anything yet because we actually don't have an event for it. So let's go ahead and add that now. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up, um, uh, what was it, Mono Develop, And I don't have it actually expanded yet. And let's go ahead and let's actually add an event for this. So I'm going to come down here right after where we have the setup. And I'm just going to create a void. And when I'm creating my events, I like to start them off with the word on. And this is when a slot is clicked. So I'm just going to call it slot clicked. Now you want to, you're going to want to be able to get the sender, you know, basically what was clicked to um, call this event. And um, it's going to be a UI button that was clicked. And I'm just going to stick with calling it sender. That's kind of like the default name for the variable. And in here, I'm just going to throw out a debug.log. And inside here, I'm just going to throw out the sender. Uh, that'll just give me, you know, what was clicked. Now, in order to tie this event into our buttons uh, for our slots, we're going to have to go slot. And then for the slot itself and call on and we want touch and the one we actually want is this one here the on touch update or on touch up inside uh, basically when we either touch the button itself with a mobile device using your finger or with the mouse on uh, your desktop system uh, when you let go of that button uh, if you're still inside of you know that button's wrecked then uh, it counts as being clicked and this is the one we want here and we'll just add the plus equals like we did when we we're working with the c-sharp messenger class adding events to that and what we're going to do is use the event we just created down here or the delegate i should say and after that uh that actually should be it so let's save that off i'm going to head back into unity and there we go So let's go ahead and start clicking the buttons. And you'll notice down at the bottom it just says UI button. And if you clear it and you come back in, it, no matter what button you click, it always says that. But we can actually get the index of that button. And if you come down here to where we're throwing out the debug log statement, if we just hit dot I, and that'll bring us all to, uh, to the index. And that's actually what we want is the index of the button on the screen. And of course, there's tons of things in here you can play around with. There's quite a few properties, but the one we actually want is just the index. We just want to know what button it is on the screen. So now when we start it up, 
we'll go ahead and when we click a button you know there's zero and it just goes across horizontally so there's one there's two three four five six seven eight and you should be able to take this here and tie it into our system that we already have for our uh, the loot system for when the loot window opens up uh, like I said I'm not really gonna go any further with this one simply because unity does have its new one coming out and I really do want to take a look at that and see you know exactly how functional that will be for my project before I go ahead and I uh, commit to dedicating the time working with either one either way but anyway that makes this one super short and uh, the next video I'm gonna do actually is gonna be the next catch-up video uh, for the people that have purchased the scripts and then we're going to move on to our mob and get him ready for combat and we'll start off with melee combat and probably move into range combat and then magic combat but before we get the magic combat done uh, we do have to actually implement uh, a lot more of the magic system like buffs and stuff like that i'd like to start with uh, actually casting buffs um actually that might actually be a better thing to start with next is actually putting buffs up on ourselves, working a little bit more in our magic system. It's either going to be that or uh, setting a mob up for combat. Either way, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.